we're here hi dolls welcome back and if you are new hello my name is jesse and today we are going to react to season two episode 10 of gossip girl i am gossip the season finale of season two and i am so excited to be here but i'm kind of sad as i mentioned at the end of the last episode we got 12 episodes in the last season, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain because as I looked up, they said that they are definitely preparing for a season three, even though it hasn't been officially confirmed yet. So I have a really, really hard time believing that we're not going to get a season three. No. No. Oh, no. So it is over. And this episode is longer than all of the other ones. Not by two minutes. We have the second episode is 59 minutes. This is an hour and one minute. So we get a little bit of longer. Let's just jump in. It is season two, episode 10, the finale of Gossip Girl. I am Gossip. Julian sets out to destroy Gossip Girl, only to find herself in a surprising final showdown at the Met Gala. Of course we're going to the Met Gala. Spring is officially upon us, we'll get and I Met have Gala, a very I'm kind of upset with all of you, except for Whitney. Let's just get for the right reason, but now hey, somehow just jail. feels he blocked us. Damn. Till it was too late. She's a piece of sh Nothing you love more than destroying people over a London fog latte. <laughs> so can't risk your imprecise hands ruining it like they do everything else. I'm here Ouch. to keep an eye out. I'm unstoppable now. Survive Georgina Sparks. We can survive anything. Space. And this goes for you two as well, right? All for all or none for none? Oh, yeah. We don't give blame him Max, space but he until just he's ready to talk, which means we also give each other space. Freaking dum dum. Feel the same way when we made Max hook up with other people? Did you? Uh oh. The B12 shot in the ass you needed. What is that even supposed to mean, Heidi? <laughs> Enough morose, Max. No one can ever know about this, okay? I was I was drunk and I was oh, hurt. Oh, my God. <sighs> The Han HR. The personal items are under review on suspicion of stealing company property. Any law firm in town would be so lucky to have you. That was before I was blacklisted by the Hans. You'll bounce back. No, you're trying to be positive, but this brand. is I've decided to bad. All Mom could spend years in prison for a mistake that you made. Dad will never let that happen. She didn't have Gosh, to is tidy. do this. You don't deserve to be in that position. You don't deserve to have this job because you f***ed up. It's your fault you screwed up. This is why everything's happening. It's not like, oh, well, I this deserve it. I'm a good leader. You're not. The last idea she didn't run by us resulted in Zoya. Whatever Jules has summoned us for. Travel in Paris? Yeah. Oh my god, look at Bunny's hair. It's so cute. Maybe wait a minute before you head over. Everybody came you? together. Chill. He was in the elevator with us like two seconds ago. No, he was not. <laughs> I, like, I love it. How rude. Can, uh, can you get to the part <laughs> where you tell us why we're here? We all have the same enemy. We used to be a family. You said yourself she's, she wants to start a war, right? And that's... I mean, let's face it, that's what we're doing. Nobody's safe until Gossip Girl ceases to exist. Fuck waiting. How do we ice the bitch? Okay. Here we go. Obi, what the f***? To the destruction of I can take a hint. Any news from Rocky? I'm still mad. But I'm also tired of not having a best friend. Hmm. Gossip Girl presses it. We'll have complete access to her account. I knew your dad did this shit. Hey, let's debate ethics later. Constance is secretly run by the Illuminati? No, everyone knows they work in New Jersey. Mm. What about Harry Styles caught cheating on inability to own her bullshit? <laughs> but it's like, yep, accurate. If I didn't hate... I feel like I've said this multiple times this season. If I didn't hate OB enough what the f because he still wants to use her in order to get back at his sister like, i don't i don't understand why you think it's okay to backstab all of your friends including the girl who you've been sleeping with for weeks now who's your ex who you're clearly trying to get back with you're selling all of them out you piece of sh I hate Obi's character so much that when he kind of went away and the, he wasn't really in it anymore, I thought it was the Gossip Girl was like the best it's ever been. Can't stand <laughs> you or your sister. I set up every safeguard I can think of. Now I just need to think of the ones I can't think of. So we're good. You're in. <laughs> oh my God, they got in. Click on her account page. I rerouted the account info to somebody else this afternoon. What the hell? One of us. But what next? You use computer magic yeah, to boot them from the so account? Stupid, Even if I block Kate. them. Kate is. Oh my God, Kate's another one. 
Kate Novi. They ruined the show. Kate Novi. But I guess that's the point, right? You need like some kind of angst and aggression to get your blood boiled. Kate Novi are perfect for this. Kate, you're a freaking idiot. You know that they're trying to f you. Obi just told you that. And so you go and click a random link from somebody? Like, I feel like that's like internet 101. Don't click strange links. And I understand she's Gossip Girl, so she gets links all the time. But like right now, maybe don't. What is wrong with you? And they'll find oh another God. way in. How do you deal with and her? And if not them, how do you deal someone with else her, after sir? that. Do you want to go to jail? She's addicted Kate, to it. She can't let it go. It's time. Your mistake. Who said it was a mistake? <gasps> it's even worse. You set mom up. So you knew Meal. to record your phone on the table. <laughs> is it my birthday? We should take a trip this right. summer. She's like a fiend. How she about can't we go stop. to the Berkshires? Now you're going through her phone. Usually come out in May, it's but with um. Him. I hate him so much. You are such a little backstabbing, snaky piece of. It. What's ironic about this whole entire thing is Obi was the one person who wanted to stay the farthest away from Gossip Girl that he possibly could. He wanted nothing to do with her. He would give people sh for her. Like, you big ass hypocrite. He's such a freaking hypocrite. Now that he realizes he can use it to his advantage, he's like all about freaking Gossip Girl. But he was the one person that judged everybody for even talking about her. Not only did you use her and up your mother's life, but now you're trying to use her again to get back at your sister and you're backstabbing everybody in the process. You're the biggest hypocrite. So it's settled that. You don't want to be in a couple anymore. We're just doing what's best for the three of us. Julian's going to figure it out. What could be so out. important that you'd lie to the people you care most about? Well, that didn't take Obi? long. Our Obi? You're going to say you're Gossip Girl. And on the official account, too. Won't be able to resist adding herself in order to regain glory. Only it won't be me. We well, need a more do obvious bad guy. Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> I don't think this would work either, though, because if anything, this might just give Gossip Girl Kate a reason, to, like, like a cover. You know what I mean? It's like if everybody thinks it's Zoya, then she's like, oh, great. Now I can do or say whatever the hell I want. Everyone's going to think it's Zoya. I don't think it's going to work. Dan was an outsider. Yeah, and a terrible writer, so this tracks. Done. Max will convince Gideon to invite an unexpected guest. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. And most important of all, before <laughs> we do the big reveal, text me your biggest, most revealing secrets, and I'll post them as her. Sean's like, I live my life unapologetically. <laughs> I don't I'll care. This bitch up. Did you miss me? Oh boy. I'm giving you my so run of the hottest and lookers. The kids are claiming they're gonna reveal Gigi's identity at the Met Gala tonight, like right now. Monet DeHaan. It's giving a nine out of 10, but what's hotter? Pinned on Nick Nobody. Nice. Andy Cohen, nice to, uh, hey. nice to meet you. How do you know who I am? I'm a big Gossip Girl fan. I hope someone finds whoever it is and stops them. I'm late for anything that isn't this. <laughs> I, I, actually, I... So nice to see the three of you together. Yeah. Taking a break? A little teardrop. Is that what we're doing? I thought that's Max what Max was saying. In Bodhi I guess not. I guess he was just saying space. Kissing the Tritanic. That's what I wanted to tell you. It's what he should have told us. Hurt. And Heidi got me very, very... Yeah, but see, that's what's weird. It's like, okay, so you told them that you wanted space and you needed space and, you know, let's take some time apart. But you never, like, it, it always comes back to friends, right? We were on a break. You never said that you wanted a break. You just said you wanted a, spa a lot of space and to not talk or see each other for a while. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I get that there is, there. yeah, okay. To some people, there is a difference. I mean, I feel like that established it. Like, I, I'm very specific. I would be like, so you want a break. Regardless, like, you're criticizing them and then you went and slept with Heidi and you didn't say anything to them and now you're like, are we on a break? You want, you better hope you were. <laughs> it's like, Max, after what you said, you, you, you want, you would want to be on a break. I would think you would want to be because if you're not, then you cheated on them. I'm glad that it happened. <clears throat> you are? Because it showed me I wanted yeah. to be with you. The first time that I felt true regret Oh, and they didn't feel like that. I miss you. Supposed to be helping what are you me? talking about? Uh-oh. Nice. Oh, she's just my stylist. She's not a model. 
See you inside. Okay. You can't see anyone outside yourself. I'm done. I need you for this to work. Julian, I need you for this to work. You're more worried about the fact that you need her for this to work than the fact that you just blew up her chance at modeling and she's upset about it. Priorities, sweetheart. I don't understand why they're making oh, her JC. so selfish. You should have heeded Coco's advice and taken one thing off. Six out of ten. When will she learn to not be such a tryhard? You were working with her all along. I wanted to tell you, but I was afraid of losing you again. Please give me another shot. Just give me access to Gigi, and I will post a better pill of my own. No. Harley, queen, and king. A median six out of ten. Audrey and Aki trifled within. Acted as if I never existed. Enough call me by your lame. It's time. Come on. Noble O. What? She was set up by her duplicitous daughter. You told gossip really you little bitch. I knew it! Ah! Yes, you're right. I need your help. I don't care. Olivia, I'm such an honor to stressed. have you here in this fantastic... Carolina Herrera. It's now, it's now. Augmented by uh Kiki Hope! Kiki Hope! I guess it's causing a disturbance. Stop. Run away. Stop. 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 Let her have it. You're free. We're free. No one will ever know it's you. It's over for all three of us, right? No, we... All for all or none for none. I am an absolute <laughs> fool. I loved you. You know that, right? Max. That's so sad. Said that I should mind my own business and that <gasps> Heidi's ruthlessness is exactly what the company needs. <gasps> wow. Yet again, screwing over someone that I love. I don't like this. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's Crazy as you've been this us? season, you deserve better. New York Spectator, breaking news. Shonda Rhimes, Ryan Murphy, and Danny Strong currently in multi-million dollar bidding war for the life rights to Zoya Lott's Gossip Girl. The Shonda meeting? Or the Ryan Murphy. You're with the Gossip Girl group. Yes. It worked. She really couldn't help herself. Mr. Strong. Miss Keller. Ah! Oh my God. I'm Gossip Girl, and I can prove it. And credit you shall have. Tomorrow morning, in fact, on the front page of The Spectator. A teacher? What a twist. Also, kind of gross. How could you do this? <laughs> Next. So you cyber-stalked and bullied teenagers into being scared? Very much. Zoya's a minor. She would have gotten oh a fine, some God. counseling, but you... First degree harassment. Let's talk defamation. Whatever happens to me, I'll be able to sleep at night knowing I succeeded. In a year's time, we'll have all forgotten about you. What about the rights? If you were a kid, maybe, but... What about no the No one rights? wants to see a teacher. Maybe this is a dream. Shouldn't really do it. That really happened? What? Look at Z. That purple. She looks so gorgeous. Someone woke up late. This place is beautiful and everything looks like an Instagram filter. But mine makes the city special for me, you know? I'm so wow. nervous. Seeing that we just became friends, I'd say let's take it one miracle at a time. My dad feels so guilty. He wants to buy back my love, so. <laughs> A black Amex. Oh my god. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just Monet complaining about how her mom won't let her come meet us. All she said is that she has some opportunity out here, and if it goes well, then she'll tell me. She took your spot up there. That was yours. She didn't take anything. I got the same offer, and I didn't follow up. Have you heard from him? The last time I talked to Giddy, he said Max was going away for the summer and specifically said not to tell us where. Oh, no. <coughs> 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 have done something pretty terrible. She get thrown out of the garden. Oh, you'll do just fine. What is going on? Nothing like it back in the States. Why did we live there again? <laughs> Philip Price. Now you know me. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. Would be happy for Zoya if she actually found somebody who cared about her and was worthy. Think you're my aunt Naomi? Mimi. It's family. I came all this way to find you, even though you've wanted nothing to do with me my entire life. There's no going back. 
and you may not like it. I'll be ready to listen. Why, why are we always trying to saying. do that? Who knows who Tom Stoppard is? Oh, he's definitely got one on us. You know what? I met a new friend today, too. Funny, so did I. Very eventful day for all of us. With more to come. May she rest in pieces, having oh. given us back her peace. You know this isn't gonna go Cheers. well. This is gonna yeah. end in catastrophe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. I was like, there's gotta be something at the end. Aki's dad. All the way to Europe to meet you at dawn and talk about Gossip Girl? All right, tell me. I know all about that cape person. And I also know that she didn't act alone. You did it for love. And I bet you love money. You want to make Gossip Girl an app? No, not an app. The app. Spying on each other. <laughs> what it a sick so What do you say? I'd say go for it, Jared. We'll get someone else if he doesn't get you. Oh, we don't get his answer? All right, there you have it. Episode 10, the finale of season two of Gossip Girl. Very good. I I, I was like, all right, this, there's no way we're going to end on like such a happy, positive note. It's freaking Gossip Girl. So I'm glad we got that little bit at the end there because I was a little, I was like, what? Like, I like, I want our crew to be happy, of course, but I like how it, it was so just calm, cool, and collective, too. Like, you were so comfortable. Everyone's going shopping and eating and meeting new people. We have Zoya meet this person, and, and Julian's like, yeah, I met this person, and I met that. Like, we're all, everything's just fine. It's cool, and it's fine, but I'm still sketched out. I'm like, okay, wait where they each introduced to somebody who ends who is going to end up being like spies and, and have something to do with Gossip Girl or no. It ends with Kate falling right into the trap. They were right. Julian was right this one time. She couldn't help but out herself. She had to say it was her because if we pay attention to how Kate has been through the last two seasons, this is her baby, right? She has dreamed of being a brilliant writer for her whole life. And so this is her literal baby. This is her masterpiece. Gossip Girl is everything to her. That's why it was so hard for her to let go. Every time Jared was like, let's go, let, let it go, let it go. We're done. We're saved. She couldn't do it. It was She was fiending for it because that is her masterpiece. So she couldn't help but say it was her. She couldn't let somebody else take the fall. She she needed the world to know that it was her, especially when she realized that she wasn't going to get in trouble for it. Like, as soon as they put, put it out there that Zoya was going to get a movie deal and be paid for it, there was a bidding war, she's like, oh, well, if I'm not going to go to jail, then I'm definitely going to say it was me because now Zoya's going to get all the credit. So, you know what? Hats off to them. I thought Kate was so freaking obnoxious and annoying. I I mean, it was interesting to a certain extent with certain things. But at the end of the day, Kate was just too much. It was too, too much. And yes, it, in the first season especially, I went off on how, like, she's a freaking psycho. She is literally using these children and pinning them against each other. So I'm glad that they called all that out at the end. You were stalking these kids. You ruined Julian's life. You ruined my career, Nick said. Like, all of these things that she actually got called out for that she really, truly did. And, and still, this just shows how much of a shitty person she is. Still, at the end of it all, she's like, no, I didn't. But this, but that, but this, but that. Like, she always had an excuse. So I can't believe that she actually got arrested. She is in jail now. Now, if what happened at the end here... With Aki's father and Jared, I am curious if that means that maybe there is a possibility for Kate to come back. I don't know, but regardless, we didn't get Jared's answer. Aki's dad wants to turn this into an app, not a app, the app. I can't say I blame him. It is a freaking moneymaker. And with the way that Aki's dad thinks and is, it's not surprising. So... I think that Jared should do it. I really think he should because he's got nothing else going on for him. If he didn't say yes, someone else is going to say yes. He's going to find somebody else. So he might as well. Uh, and he, see, this is the thing. Jared's always been kind of like the voice of reason, the mediator. And so with how crazy Aki's dad is, Aki's dad's not going to want to have anything to do with this. He's going to put Jared in control probably. So he is kind of the best person to be in control for this. I feel like it, it, it could really go crazy and bad 
in someone else's hands, but in Jared's, it, it probably wouldn't go as crazy. All of our, our crew here is just, it, it's, it's bad shit. So the only thing that I didn't like is, okay, so, so we have, so let's start off with Miss La Luna. Luna, you beautiful, beautiful woman. She gets her modeling deal. I'm so happy for that. She's all over Italy. It's amazing. I love it. We have Obi and Julian happy. Great. You know how I feel about that. I hate them as a couple. I hate Obi, but whatever. Okay. So he, uh, he exposes his sister, gets that secret out. Uh, unfortunately, shitty enough, his father's still like, eh, whatever. Like, I don't care about your mom. Your sister was smarter. But they're a couple now. O Obi and Julian are a couple now. They're happy. Julian goes to see her aunt. That is really interesting. And what's mo even more interesting is what she says to Julian. She says, I don't know if you're ready to hear this. And if you are, if you do hear it, you might not like it. So we're going to get a whole nother saga with what happened with Julian in her life and in her past and how she came to be. That's going to be very interesting. We have Zoya meeting a boy. Very promising, I hope. I don't want anybody screwing with Zoya. So I love that she actually meets somebody that kind of makes her smile and makes her think for the first time. Fantastic. And then we have Aki and Audrey here that, uh, that they seem to be happy. They seem to be content with each other in their relationship. Audrey makes the comments of my dad's trying to buy back my love. So she's going shopping. She's living life in Italy and she's happy. Now for what I don't like. What about Max? My poor baby. My poor baby Max. I feel like Max has come so far in this season. He's really grown as a person. In the first season, he's conniving and he's sneaky and he's messy and he's just getting drunk and he's getting high and he's doing all these different drugs and he just could not care about a happy, straightforward life. He just wants to f*** around. He... Ends up getting into this throuple with Aki and Audrey, and he is beyond happy, over the moon. He changes into a new person. And now, did he f*** up by sleeping with Heidi? Yes. But I don't think that's what put the nail in the coffin for Audrey and Aki. Like, they, I think it was the time that they had separated, um, having their space, that when they were together, they realized that, like Audrey said... When I found out that that girl kissed you, I was upset. I wasn't that upset when I found out that Heidi slept with Max. And that shows me that I want to be with you and not Max. Um, and then they had, and then they slept together when it was just the two of them. And they're like, oh, wow, the sex is great. Like, what they need to remember is the reason that they brought Max in was because they weren't happy with each other. Now, is that going to go back to the way it was like they're happy right now but is it slowly gonna go back to like oh you know what we're not we were in the honeymoon stage again now we're not happy again or was it just a little bump in the road it seems like i mean two months later it's been two months so so far so good but i still my heart breaks for max i feel so bad i feel so terrible now we see max get thrown out of a club he looks like he was in Italy, to be honest with you. I, I They make a comment about um, Max's dad saying something like, don't worry about him or whatever, but uh, I don't think they really actually said where he was. Didn't look like he was in New York. It looked like he was in Italy. We see him get thrown out of a club. He tries to, he puts a cigarette in his mouth. He tries to light it. He can't find a lighter. Somebody walks over with a lighter and says, oh, like, I'll help you. It sounds like they kind of had an accent. I feel like I'm supposed to know who it is, but I couldn't recognize the voice. So let me know you think of the comments who do you think it is that helped max because max is like oh you'll do just fine so i'm curious to see who that is and where that story arc is going to go and then monet why don't we get monet i'm assuming there's probably something with the actor like maybe she couldn't be in this scene or she couldn't go to they look like they're really in italy so i mean maybe maybe she really she couldn't go to italy for whatever reason but I, I, they, they did make the comment. Julian said, Julian's trying to go see the aunt. She's hiding it from Obi and, or no, hiding it from Z. And Zoya says like, what are you doing? Or who is it? Or whatever. And she goes, oh, it's, uh, Monet complained that her mom wouldn't let her come. 
I mean, I guess I could see, I could see that being plausible because when they were on the red carpet, which was freaking awesome, by the way, I loved being at the Met Gala with them. Um, they released the secret that the Dahans are the ones who were behind pinning everything on Nick. And so obviously I'm assuming she's going to think the, her mom's going to think that Monet had something to do with it because all of her friends were involved and Z was involved. So I'm, I'm assuming that she's going to think that Monet had something to do with it. So she's probably like, you're on lockdown. I'm not paying for shit. You're not going anywhere. Makes sense. But at the same time, I would have liked to see Monet with them. Like, it kind of sucks that we didn't get her there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, at this point, everything's kind of cool. <laughs> everything's kind of good. I'm thinking, like, oh, my God, Kate, how are they going to get her out of this? They're not. Kate's in jail. Rightfully so. I love at the, at the end, too, how Andy Cohen's like a teacher. Ugh. <laughs> like, like, this is not, no, this is not good, which is hysterical because everybody, I feel like in the comments, because I edited the first season, the first half of the first season, at least, and everybody in the comments, including myself, was like, the teachers? The teachers are Gossip Girl? So I feel like they are listening to the fans. They heard us. So, I, I mean, at, at least our crew has a little bit of time to just be happy and positive and live their lives in a good way. Now, my question is, this could be the end of Gossip Girl, our show. This could be the end of the TV show Gossip Girl because they end it in a way where it could either have a season three or it couldn't. It may not have a season three. Let's look it up. No. No. Oh, no. So it is over. Wow. January 19th, 2023. Cara Howe, HBO Max on Thursday. HBO Max's Gossip Girl was officially banished from the Met Steps when Warner Brothers Discovery announced that it was not moving forward with the series for a third season. I looked at the end of the last episode and they said that they were prepping for a season three. And just like that, our only source into the scandalous lives of Manhattan's elite has been axed. Last week, showrunner Joshua Safran announced that Gossip Girl would not be moving forward with a, a third season at HBO Max. That's so disappointing. It was never supposed to end like this. HBO Max's Gossip Girl took its final bow on Thursday as the season two finale hit the streamer since news of the show's cancellation broke last week. Oh my God, I didn't even know that. Oh, that sucks. Another victim of the renewal curse. We've seen it with such amazing shows that it doesn't surprise. It surprises me, but it also doesn't surprise me, especially HBO has been getting rid of a lot of crap on their site. That is really good. And it's really stupid in my opinion, but showrunner Josh Safran told Deadline that he's holding on to a glimmer of hope that the series might land at a new home, but he's had an inkling for months that this might happen, considering the growing number of streaming cancellations and Gossip Girl's hefty price tag. It, well, see, the growing number of streaming cancellations is because HBO took half of their freaking content off of their site. Like, they've, and they can't, they, they I, I'm a huge Degrassi fan. They canceled the Degrassi reboot. They're doing such sh things so yeah a bunch of people canceled their their stream or their subscriptions what do you think was gonna happen i'm sure gossip girl is a hefty price tag though i asked hbo max if i actually could go back into the episode i had the idea to take some of the cliffhangers out because there were a lot of cliffhangers san fran said we got the editorial team back together i went in and i lifted a bunch of stuff i changed as much as i could i couldn't do as much as i wanted because i couldn't reshoot anything obviously that sucks. So the episode that audiences will see isn't exactly the episode that San Fran had planned. Though many of the plot details remain the same, the kids devise a plan to expose Gossip Girl once and for all during the Met Gala after realizing that Obi has been foiling their previous attempts to figure out her identity. They hope that Zoya taking credit for the anonymous account will bring the real Gigi out of the woodwork. But it takes more than that. Only the fabricated rumblings of a movie deal about Gigi lure Kate Keller to expose herself. And it turns out that no one is really interested in a teacher <laughs> revenge story. Her story ends as she's led 
away in handcuffs, though San Fran says there would have been more to that plot in season three. I figured there would have if it was a season three. In order for their plan to work, the kids all have to expose their deepest, darkest secrets to the, on, the DG, uh, on the GG account. Which causes a massive rift between everyone's favorite throuple, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he was the same, per the poor person that Zoya met was the same person they all met. Spending the summer traveling through Europe and find, and find themselves in Rome, where Julian is on the hunt for information about her family, and they all, individually and unknowingly, meet a friend, played by Aaron Dominguez, that San Fran says was meant to set the gears in motion for the season three plot. I knew that wasn't just a coincidence. That really sucks that, like, again, that he he didn't know it was going to be the third, the last season. There was going to be a, a third season because, like I said, when I last, it must have just dropped right after I looked because I looked after last week's episode and they said that he was preparing for a season three. So to have written the story and filmed everything and set it up the way you wanted and then to know you're not going to get a season three, like he said, he couldn't take out a lot of what he would have or he couldn't reshoot things like we didn't get Monet in the last series finale because of stupid HBO. HBO. It definitely wasn't approached as a series finale. No, it wasn't when we wrote it. We even had a season three mini writer's room to break the arc for season three. That sucks. Uh, so it was meant to launch season three. There was a whole storyline involving Aaron Dominguez's character that was the primary focus of the last 25 minutes of the episode. Once season two started airing, I had an inkling when I saw things were being canceled. And especially stuff that is in this universe and is as expensive as we are. It was never meant to end the series. Even Kate being found out and being arrested was meant to tip off a story in season three. It was never built to be series finale. We knew we were going to close the teacher's story. I guess that's the biggest thing. I knew that it was time to end that, but there was going to be more. Moving the pieces of cliffhangers were not as hard as it would have been because most of the storylines were wrapped up by design. What was removed from the episodes? I know fans will be curious about Monet and Luna. Yeah, was the ending you always envisioned for them. Nothing changed with that story. It was always going to end with Luna having achieved the success that Julian could have e only ever dreamed. The only thing that changed was stuff around Aaron Dominguez's character that did not involve Monet or Luna or Shan. Uh, Aaron's character interacted with Julian. Oh yeah, Shan wasn't there either. Aaron's character interacted with Julian, Zoya, and Audrey, and I cut the Julian and Audrey parts of that story, and they mentioned it at the end, which makes sense because I know we're not going to have it. Audrey and Julian mentioned meeting someone that day that would have been Aaron. There was some dialogue I cut between the characters with more hints of things to come, but yes, they are both talking about Aaron and there was also a scene where Aaron interacted with everybody without them knowing, and he was watching them. That was also excised. That sucks for that guy, for that actor to like be casted in at the end of this season and then be like, yeah, sorry, we're not doing a third season. Luna's decision to cut Julian off was sad, but also predictable. I am going to miss their dynamic, though. You would have loved season three then because they're, we're not getting rid of Luna. Luna is taking more of a center stage. <laughs> Luna. I would have loved to see that. We were going to really enjoy telling a story of Julian and Monet teaming up and Luna is now their enemy, not each other. Oh my god. So there was going to be a fun story there. We had spent a lot of time over the two seasons fostering a friendship between Luna and Max. Luna has Max and Julian and Monet are going up against her, but that means they're also going up against Max, so the dynamic was still going to be there. I knew they were building Max and Luna for a reason. Like, they kept showing them, kept showing them over and over and over again, but it's just going to be in an even more fun, delicious way. We were really excited to explore Luna's level of celebrity. It's a kind of celebrity... None of the characters in the original or in this ver or on this version of the show have ever achieved. Julian is an influencer. She wants to be a great influencer, but there's no such thing as the top influencer. She was happy to be a celebrity in that way, but Luna is a superstar. Luna is a supermodel. Luna is all over the world. To be able to tell that story was going to be super fun, and it was still going to have to include everybody. The dynamic would still be there corporation controlling all of that not us we're very I, that would have been really cool what happens when those two things come together we were we were going to create our own version of tiktok basically 
and the teachers' roles would still be in the show, but they were going to change. Their storyline would have been lighter, but I actually think the audience has really come around to them in season two. They got a little more devious last year, a little more god complexy. so season three would have gone even further down that road. Funny you mention all of that, considering the recent report that TikTok employees can decide what goes viral. What? Really? I didn't know that. The possibility of the show being saved now that there's been some time since the cancellation. The show was not a failure. I don't think we'll ever know numbers, but the viewership just wasn't enough to justify how expensive it is because it isn't sci-fi or fantasy. It's not going to reach a Stranger Things audience or a House of the Dragon audience. So the problem was just inherent in having the budget be what it was. I'm very grateful for that because we were able to make the show one of the most gorgeous things on TV. I do have to say a lot of that did surprise me. Like the, the fact like she's got like Fendi bag in the one of the last scenes obviously because they're in Italy they're freaking expensive like the thing the clothes what they're about to say the clothes the location the food it was an incredible world to play in but I just don't know how to make this version of the show at a price point that could get it picked up somewhere else without severely harming it like the amount of money like thousand like one outfit of theirs is thousands of dollars the purses alone are thousands of dollars, let alone the entire outfit. I also think that executives and companies are wise enough to know that, meaning they can't afford to make the version that is making it successful. So why make a lesser version? I don't see it happening. If it did, I would be overjoyed. I think everybody would be back in an instant. It's just the nature of where the business is at right now. I agree, and that sucks, but I agree. Because in success, you hope that Emily can stay in Paris for six years. Really? All right, you lost me now. I watched the first episode of Emily in Paris. I could not do it. I couldn't do it. I could not get through it. It was painfully boring to me. I'm sorry. I'm uh, To each their own if you like it, but I couldn't do it. So that's it. We're done. That blows. That really sucks. I'm glad I looked it up and I found out that it was, it was the final season because now I can give y'all a proper goodbye. I really did not see this getting canceled. I truly thought it was going to continue, but it's the HBO curse. So I can't say that I'm too surprised. Um, with that said, I guess they ended it in the best way they possibly could. I mean, he literally said that. They ended it in the best way they possibly could because they already filmed the finale it was already set. They were able to take out certain things because they couldn't reshoot. So I feel like with that said, with how they they filmed, they made the episode and then with them taking out what they could and kind of wrapping it up as a series in the best way they could, I think they did a phenomenal job. I think they did a really good job, especially with that little last bit at the end there. It it leaves it, as I said at the very, very end, it leaves it on a cliffhanger where like, hey, we could pick it up for a third season if someone else wants to do it, or that could be the end, and we just kind of make it up as we go. I would like to know who, what their idea was for Max, who was there trying to pick up Max. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Who who approached Max? Do you, may, it could have just been a brand new character, too. I feel like if it was a brand new character that we didn't know, though, they would have showed us the face, and the fact that they were keeping it a secret makes me believe that it should it, it's someone we know. We should know them, but I guess that's it. I love my girl Luna, though. At least she got her modeling contract. <laughs> we'll never know about, about Julian's Aunt now either and Max poor Max that's how we end the series with Max being thrown out on a curb but I guess let's let's pretend in a perfect world the person who lights his cigarette is the love of his life and he'll be happy overall I, it was a great great series I love the first season I love the second season it makes me sad that it's not gonna be renewed Maybe someone else will pick it up, but if not, it was a great homage to the first, to the original, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. So thank you so much for all the support that everyone has shown on YouTube and on Patreon. Really appreciate y'all being here. Mwah. I love you so much. And until the next reaction, so long, everyone. Try and make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye. Mm.